students welcome to this video in previous video we learnt about the preparation of uh, iodoform from ethanol in this video we are going to see uh, we are going to discuss the preparation of iodoform from propanone uh, so here also you are going to take propanone propanone is propanone with iodine you are going to heat it in the presence of sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate then you will get iodoform so the previous from ethanol also we did the same thing but here instead of ethanol we are taking propanone and uh, the preparation of iodoform pr from propanone it involves uh, two steps so i'll write the reaction step wise so first step 1 so in step 1 you have to prepare sodium hy uh, sodium hypoiodide so for that what you have to do the same you are taking propanone and iodine and you are heating in the presence of sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate here the reaction will be there between this iodine and sodium hydroxide so that reaction only i am going to write it now sodium hydroxide with iodine the product formed will be sodium hypoiodide nai and h2o here you are taking two molecules of sodium hydroxide so naoh naoh and i2 here what happens nao i and then na i and water will get removed so this is how sodium hypo iodide is formed this is what your first step in second step you are going to make the sodium hypo iodide to react with propanone so that is what your step 2 so here i'll write this propanone ch3 c double bond o ch3 with sodium hypo iodide so here the product formed will be uh, and here what happens iodination takes place so iodination means addition of iodine so uh, the hydrogen will uh, take the place will uh, hydrogen will get replaced by means of iodine so i'll write the product here your product will be ch3 c double bond o c i 3 so here what happens this hydrogen is replaced by means of iodine so here you are going to take three molecules of sodium hypo iodide and your by product will be naoh i'll tell you so here you had taken ch3 c double bond o ch3 plus naoi naoi sodium hypo iodide so here what happens this h3 this hydrogen is replaced by means of these three iodine so you are getting the product as ch3 c double bond o ci3 and here this hydrogen will uh, combine with this nao and it will form three naoh so this is what your second step and this step is iodination addition of iodine okay and so this the formed product is your triiodo acetone triiodo acetone so this triiodo acetone CH3 C double bond O 
Ci3. So this product is triiodoacetone or it is 1 comma 1 comma 1 triiodopropane 2 ohm. So this formed triiodoacetone or triiodopropane 2 ohm it will combine with sodium hydroxide. So here what happens? Hydrolysis takes place by means of this sodium hydroxide. So in this reaction HI3 iodoform is formed plus here the same I am going to write CH3 the same C double bond O the same and here O N A. So what is the product form? This one is sodium acetate. So what reaction had taken place here? Hydrolysis by sodium hydroxide. Okay. So this is what uh, this is what preparation of iodoform from propanone. Here it involves only the uh, only uh, three steps. First step formation of sodium hypoiodide. In second step iodination and third step hydrolysis by sodium hydroxide. So all these three steps you can write in one step itself. So the overall reaction will be acetone you are taking CH3C double bond O CH3 acetone with iodine and with the sodium hydroxide on heating your product will be iodoform with sodium iodide and sodium acetate CH3C double bond O N A and water. So you can balance this reaction 3I2 and 4NaOH with uh, 3NaI and 3H2O. So this is what the overall reaction. Here I had used sodium hydroxide for the preparation of uh, iodoform from acetone. Similarly, instead of sodium hydroxide, you can use sodium carbonate. I will write the overall reaction only. So here also you are taking acetone, acetone and iodine instead of sodium hydroxide you are using sodium carbonate and again this on heating your product will be iodoform sodium iodide and sodium acetate. CH3C double bond O Na and here NaI will be there and here what is the additional byproduct form? Carbon dioxide because you had used carbonate definitely carbon dioxide is formed and then water. So uh, and balances reaction 3I2 the same and 2Na2CO3 and here it will be 3NaI and uh, 2CO2. So this is the overall reaction for the preparation of iodoform when acetone react with sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate means the addition product which you have to write is carbon dioxide. So this is how you can prepare uh, iodoform from propanone. So students, now I am going to give a short recap for the preparation of chloroform and iodoform from ethanol. Uh, so if you take chloroform, the first step is the liberation of chlorine. If you take the preparation of iodoform, the first step is the liberation of sodium hypoiodide. And second step, the liberated chlorine will convert ethanol to ethanol. So here what happens, oxidation takes place. And in the preparation of iodoform, uh, sodium hypoiodite will convert ethanol to ethanol. And 
third step in the preparation of chloroform is chlorination. In the preparation of iodoform is iodination. And fourth step, this chloroform will get hydrolyzed by means of calcium hydroxide. Iodoform will get hydrolyzed by sodium hydroxide. So this is what the preparation of chloroform and iodoform from ethanol. Similarly, if you go for this uh, preparation of chloroform and iodoform from propanone. Here what happens? This first step, step is same. Liberation of chlorine and here liberation of sodium hypoiodide. Here you can use sodium hypochlorite also for the preparation of chloroform from propanone. And second step is chlorination for chloroform. And, the, and second step is iodination for iodoform. And third step for chloroform is hydrolysis by calcium hydroxide. And here hydrolysis by sodium hydroxide. So, this is what uh, the preparation of chloroform and iodoform from ethanol and propanone. Uh, okay, in next video, uh, we'll uh, discuss about the chemical properties of iodoform.